I've been thinking about the term anarcho-primitivist, and I have a couple of problems with it. The first is the word anarcho, which of course is derived from anarchy, which means anti-authority. Of course, many people will think the first thing about anarchy is against the government. Okay, that's fine, but government, especially the way that we know it today, was unknown among our pre-agricultural ancestors. There, it simply was not possible. There was no global standard of anything back then like there is today. Time, language, whatever. It's, it's, not, it, it's not possible. It was small groups of people foraging and living with nature. There would be no way to have the multi-layered systems of control that exist right now. So you can toss that out the window. Primitivist by itself would be fine. But the problem with the word primitivist is it implies that somehow the culture today is better. Primitive. It's a condescending word. And it's a borderline racist word. I'm going to post one link of many in the description below about one of the 40 to 50 extant hunter-gatherer tribes that are living today who are fighting against civilization. They do not want to be civilized. They do not want to be indoctrinated into the plastic, smartphone-driven technology culture that people in the, quote, Western, end quote, lifestyle live in. They do not want that. So some people have told me in discussions that the reason that hunter-gatherers are still hunter-gatherers is because, well, they just haven't been introduced to technology yet. And if they did, then we all know that they would happily give up their relatively free way of life and work nine-to-five jobs sitting in traffic and sit on their smartphones and plan vacations and have a white picket fence and all that. I, I think that's nonsense. Um, and the link that I'll share below will show you that. These people, they, they don't want it. And the, the, actually, if you think about it, the, one of the main arguments used by Europeans and other groups enslaving black Africans was, well, they're just savages. They're brutes. They're animals. Of course, animals are lower than people, according to them. So it is our duty as conquering Europeans to capture and enslave these people. It's actually for their own good. We need to give them our culture, our language, our level of technology, our religion. We'll actually be doing them a favor. That is exactly the same argument, which is why the term primitive and primitivist, those are they're borderline racist terms. I know some other people have said indigenist instead to describe people who are against this insane culture. And if you think about that, it kind of implies that land belongs to a certain group of people. And I, I just don't think that's true. Nothing belongs to anyone. The earth owns us, all of us. We can't stake out little parcels of it and claim it as ours. And also, land ownership implies hierarchies, which, once again, were not... They did not exist in our pre-agricultural ancestral societies, so I disagree with that word. The only word that I... The only term that I can think of to accurately describe people who see this culture for what it is are an, is anti-civ or anti-civilization. It's That's forceful, it's direct. It really leaves no question as to how somebody feels. Because you see, if you call yourself an anarcho-primitivist, and I might have once or twice, I don't say that about myself anymore. If you, if you call yourself an anarcho-primitivist, what happens is people say, well, you think we should all live in the woods, or you're against medical science, or you're pro-infanticide, or you're, you want us all to starve, or you want us to give up this, and it's, it's all nonsense. I, I'm not putting expectations on anyone, and I don't want anyone putting expectations on me. Anyone calling themselves an primitivist who comes up against a blockade like that, sure, there are easily uh, those arguments about, you know, for example, living in the woods. Well, that would be like taking a, a hunter-gatherer and throwing him on Wall Street and expecting him to know what to do. It's, it's nonsense. It's a straw man. So I, I choose not to call myself that because, first of all, I don't agree with a lot of 
what other anarcho-primitivists say, and second, because I don't have the answers. I don't know what level of technology is acceptable. I, I, I'm not going to comment on what tactics people are going to be using, because it really doesn't matter. I don't matter. My, my personal views or beliefs do not matter. And I'm not going to give such an easy way for other people to attack me. I'm, I'm simply a social commentator. I look at things the way they are, and I say, hey, this isn't right, or this is inconsistent, and that's it. I, if, me personally, if I was thrown out in the woods, I'd probably die. I, I, have, I don't have the survival skills. I'm just as dependent on this culture as most other people, so that's why I don't call myself. I'm not an anarcho-primitivist. I'm just me with my own set of beliefs and the only thing I can say about it is all you need to do is look around and just start questioning things and it will lead you down the path that you need to go down to but stop calling yourself a primitivist and stop calling other people primitives because it's a racist term and it's an inaccurate term thanks